What is going on everybody? Today we're looking at the Mega Masters of the Universe Snake Mountain playset. So we're doing another playset. We did Castle Grayskull. So now we're taking a look at Snake Mountain, which is really cool. Now this set has 3,802 pieces and usually retails for $321. But just like Castle Grayskull, we ordered this when it went on sale on Amazon all the way down with tax and everything. We paid $140. So that's over 50% off. So that's why we wait so long to buy these things. Never pay that high price which you know price wise for the amount of piece and set you get is pretty decent especially if you compare it to lego but for getting it for over half the price is even better so crazy awesome that we were able to do that and definitely makes this set worth it so as you see the front of the box here we have snake mountain of course i did snake mountain in the motu origins like play set like you know based off the original one so i will have that video linked throughout then or you can find it on the channel just so you can see some comparison i want in this video to compare but both sets together just way too big there's no i'd be able to handle like comparing both of them but you can easily find my video like i said it'll be at the end if you want to see the differences but this snake mountain is much more detailed i'd say at least like with all the little details and stuff going on especially you can see here on the exterior on the interior as well just from the front of the box that we can see that's going to be 24 inches long so it is a pretty big set so have a lot of space to take up but of course just like castle grayskull and the old play sets they do collapse in so you can like fold them in half like clamshell which is nice so you take up a lot less space but still pretty big. Now in this set we do get six minifigures. So we have He-Man, Skeletor, Evelyn, Web, Store, Trap Jaw, and Ram Man. And of course we'll take a look at those. And just pretty nice details and design right here on the front of the box. Nice artwork of the playset with our characters in action poses and everything. So that looks awesome. But on the back of the box we have the interior of the playset. And this is where it seems to defer most, especially from that old playset. But it looks pretty cool on the inside. Again, we have our figures listed over here to the side and some play features. So we get the trap door that's pretty classic. We get a hole we can bust out of the wall. The snake is movable. So a little bit more to the snake than the old place that had. The mouth on the demon head opens. And then of course we have Snake Mountain here with Castle Grayskull. I will bring in that Grayskull though. Just so you can see the size difference. And then again we have just the interior that we will go into of this playset. So all of this looks pretty cool. Nice big box for a big set. And it just looks pretty cool and a really nice design for this set overall. So let's go ahead and look at the set. But we'll start with the figures. So here are six figures. I always want to call them mini figures because that's what Lego calls them. But I think they're just figures or little action figures. So we'll start off with He-Man, which looks pretty cool. So it is Thunder Punch He-Man. It has his design from that. So he has this red harness on this time. It reds like bracers on his wrist and then comes with this big shield and the clear sword. So obviously we take this sword out and put it into his hand. So there he's got the sword of power now. So that looks pretty cool, of course, turning him into He-Man. And he has the big shield. And I think that's what the Thunder Punch is. He can like, you know, wind back and then punch with this shield maybe i don't really know thunder punch he man too well i just know it's a thing but i've never done any figures of him but looks pretty cool there and of course it is a he-man figure so the rest underneath you can take all this stuff off and just have a basic he-man if you want but we have other basic humans so don't really need it but i do want to show off with these figures i'll just do it with this he-man is that they do have movements so like legos they have you know very little movements arms can move back and forth legs move back and forth and stuff but they have like actual action figure articulation so of course the head will twist around so legos will do that as well then we we get this shoulder so the shoulders do actually come up like we'll raise up to 90 and rotate all the way around then we get the elbow joints as well so they have elbows there that will bend which are pretty nice the wrist will also twist around again legos will twist as well twist around at the waist the hips will come up and backwards a little a little in and out as well the knee joint will bend back at least that far for he-man so not too bad and that's really all you get now of course their feet are in weird positions like white stance there but you can get them on like they all come with these little green stands Stands. so it is cool that they have that so very awesome for the thunder punch he-man there of course always need a he-man with our sets and cool that it, like i said it is the thunder punch this time and not just the normal he-man over and over again and next up we have our other good guy of ram man again you know, always one of my favorite characters looks pretty nice there with his big metal helmet and chest plate on of course he always does ramming so it makes sense why he has all that then he has like his red tunic belt with the skull little nice little details all over this even his like accordion like legs and stuff and black boots on his feet bracers around his wrist and comes with his axe so very classic for ram man there looks really nice overall for him so i just like that how much you know they look exactly like action figures just in little miniature form so nice for ram man 
Then moving over to our bad guys, we have Skeletor, which this is Dragon Blaster Skeletor. So he looks pretty crazy here, especially with this dragon. Now, I've never seen again in figures like this before. I've seen these before, but I've never like reviewed any of them. So not exactly sure what's going on with that. He just has this little dragon on his back. You can see it's got this nice fiery blast with blue shooting out of it and sort of chain there around his chest and stuff, keeping it on his back. But like He-Man, you could take that off and just have normal Skeletor underneath. So we have a skeleton-like head with the yellow and green face, the purple hood on that has like the black fur underwear he has his sword and his havoc staff so nice ram head on there nice molded design and then his blue legs going down to his three toed purple feet there as well and again just that dragon on the back looks pretty nice so additional almost like little figure there included with that then we have Evil Lynn, so our Evil Witch she looks pretty nice. Gives her her like orangish color skin, nice blue headdress design on there, and similar with her outfit. Almost looks like a swimsuit or something. Of course, the bands are on her arms with the studs on them around her wrist as well. Her magic wand, of course, simple design for that, but still looks decent. And then like the boots there on her feet, so not much to Evil Lynn, but still looks like her. Then we get Trap Jaw, which looks pretty cool. He even has his little jaw there. It looks again like the old toy, so a lot of the like head design even has a little circle up top. His robotic arm that we can switch out, so this one we just have the gun on it. Now he does have those sections around his waist. Of course, we've done like Origins figures and all sorts of other Motu figures. Anyway, he has slots where he can store his extra accessories, which we do to get two extra accessories. It's just hard to really get them in his belt because they're so thick, but we get like a fly swatter or like something, you know, the smack bugs, as well as the hook piece, so you can switch those out with the gun if you want either of those but again nice blue skin nice bright green especially on his face and then the bell his legs and around his wrist there black legs everywhere else except for a little blue showing of his skin and like this pinkish color underwear that matches his helmet as well so trap jaw looks nice and of course our final figure is web store which looks pretty nice the blue spider like guy so we get his multiple eyes up on his head and his crazy teeth mouth of course all blue skin nice blue colors get like the purple feet very similar to what skeletor had he has a orange gun in his hand so again nice classic for the toy and then the spider legs on his back and of course they move around so it gives him the eight legs total with his arms and legs and then these four additional ones and then he has the grappling hook as well so you can take this grappling on and he can you know climb up snake mountain or whatever you want with that with that grappling hook again just like the old toy so they do a really good job with these like i said i wish lego could start to do similar sort of things where they have more articulation movements and look more like real toys but of course that's just part of the lego aesthetic that they've had for a long time so it makes sense that they stay with the same but just having this much movement and stuff makes the character so much more dynamic. And here we have our Snake Mountain playset. So I just have it all collapsed up here first just to show you what it looks like. So like I said, it takes up a lot less room in this form. So since it's 24 inches long, I assume in this, it's going to be 12 inches. So cuts it in half at least, but it's still a really big thing that takes up a lot of space. And of course it is deep. So if like I spin it here to the side, it's going to be hard for me to reach just how big it is. I got to have the camera out far. So it is that wide. So it is still pretty big, you know, pretty decent size there. But as I said, I just wanted to show you it in the collapse form and of course we'll spin around here so you can see the opposite side as well of course with the snake up top and of course too tall to really fit in there but there we have the snake and everything again it wraps around more with the old mattel toy it only like was one wrap around but this time we have an additional wrap which makes it pretty cool and of course we spin back around in here we have the hinges so this is of course where it will open up when we'll have our lava river and all that sort of stuff so we can open it up now this i think the castle gray skull had a class that like sort of held it together the only thing really holding it together on this side because of course this is where it folds together is down here at the very bottom there is this little piece that you put on this little plate that allows it to hold together so what I do is I just lift it up a little enough to where it'll get it loose and then go like this and then of course fold it open now of course we'll have the stuff falling out inside but we'll look at the outside first so here it is all folded out of course I still can't fit it fully in the camera there we go if I adjust it we'll get it in so looks really nice from the outside now of course a part of this as you see with like our lava river we have a bridge as well like a suspension bridge so when you do this you have to connect it back up which it just has these little like clip pieces I guess I could zoom in for it and hopefully you'll be able to see it so we get these little clip pieces right here that we attach the bridge onto oh and there's also some studs back in here that when you fold it they sort of grip together as well so you can just pull it close like this and it'll sign it grip them in and then we can connect the bridge up so there I got the bridge connected there and then we do have this like rope design that we can attach between the two pieces and then attach around 
down here so it makes it like a rope across the bridge as well sort of hang down like that or however you want to adjust it so there we get the bridge attached so again when you fold it up you have to make sure you undo that bridge so you don't rip anything apart but that gives us the whole exterior of the playset, which like i said looks pretty cool but it is huge so you can't even see you know the snake all the way up top but we'll start from the right here and move to the left since that's how we have our little walkway so you can take our character so like he-man and sort of walk him up like he's trying to enter snake mountain so we have this nice like little walkway with some flat pieces so it almost makes you know like a stone walkway that moves up we come up to the demon head which looks really nice now this does have a mouth that opens there's a control on the inside that you can move back and forth that'll like make this move so if you have a character like he-man here right in front of it you can motion it and it'll knock him off so that is really cool so we have that and then also while we're over here we do also have a section to chain up characters so we have some chains over here again i always forget i can zoom in on this so we have these chains over here onto the side so you can take a character like he-man and sort of chain him up with his arms out to the side and him standing down there so that's the fun little section again included with that old original toy as you see we do also have these little like printed pieces that are going to be throughout it that have little like creature faces on them so you can see like a bunch of teeth and eyes and stuff there and you'll see that kind of going throughout and a lot on the inside as well then up top we do have the wolf's head and now the head just has a little bit of movement it doesn't really do anything beyond this like doesn't seem like yeah it doesn't rotate or anything but it has this movement up and down now with the old original toy from these i think this was a thing you could like distort your voice you could talk into it and then make your voice sound all evil but with this set it's just kind of there with a little wolf head that sort of opens and closes you i guess you take a character maybe well i guess it wouldn't fail say so put a character in its mouth and make it like crunch it or something if you wanted then like i already pointed out we have the demon's head which looks pretty nice they're nice designs they did a really good job of course with the printed eyes and all that of course the big mouth with all the teeth and all the design going around it and as you see with this there is a lot of this pink like veiny looking stuff i don't know if it's supposed to be like roots or something i thought it'd be more like lava but with it being pink and stuff i'm pretty sure it's not lava and some going up in the air and all that so not really sure what that is going on but of course like i said we do have our little walkway so it starts down here at the bottom and moves up again more of like the roots and all that we get all these little, like spike pieces that look sort of like teeth and everything a nice like purple ball design just all sort of stuff going on there and then like i said we get our suspension bridge which is nice that you can cross it in front of the lava river so that looks really nice of course it's a lot of see-through so you can sort of see through it there so it looks like the lava is glowing and that just flows all the way down to the ground looks pretty nice again another one of those creepy faces up there and then also it's sort of spikes and stuff with those pieces at the top so it looks pretty nice and then you can cross the bridge over into the next section and we'll kind of move this place set to the side so the bridge continues across of course you start to walk in front of the snake and go up the stairs to the side and it goes all the way up to the top till you get to the entrance up there at least what is believed to be the entrance but first on the outside like i said we do have the snake so it wraps around there is an additional wrap in this so compared to like the old toy there was only like this single wrap around up to the top there to the snake head up top so it's nice that we get this additional wrap just makes it look like a much bigger snake and then of course we have the stairs again an additional little face creepy face hidden away over here and our entranceway so again you just have characters fighting all along the stairs and the stairs continue up so it's going to be hard to see but they do continue up here all the way till you get to the very top here so we have the entrance with the main gate again a like creature face in there on the door so it almost looks like another wolf head or could be a bat or just some sort of creature with another that looks like a bat up top because it looks like it has fangs and everything with our big snake head as well so the big green snake head which does have some movement so you can sort of get it to move around now in the old one it curved around the other way and it would like come around and you could attack like he-man or whatever with it you can still sort of attack like if you have someone you know, sort of bring the head down of course can get them in the mouth and crunch them there as well but it's just a nice big snake head of course the joints over time will get loose and so it won't hold up as well so you'll just have to get it into position whatever you want for that to be able to hold it but we do have our entrance gate which does work as a gate so you can go into and stuff you know so it opens and closes and everything there so it is designed to get in the sink mound but as you see there's nothing beyond it so there's nothing there it's just a trap and speaking of trap there is a trap door so there is a little lever here to the side that you can open and it'll drop a door so it's a little platform that sort of drops out so we can take like our he-man character and put him there like he's trying to get into the door of course we'll say he's made it past the snake and everything and we can pull it out and he'll drop down into snake mountain so that is pretty cool now i think that's exterior 
exteriorly all that there is. I don't really think there's anything really else to look at. Just really nice design, you know, with all the rock work and sort of greenly design, all the different colors. Of course, we get purple a lot, then the pink's thrown in with the roots. We get some darker purple colors, the nice green of the snake contrast to get this, this like lighter pale pink sort of color on the tips of all these points. Like I said, look like teeth design. Just a lot of it looks really nice, especially from the exterior. Of course, this set is just so huge. It's hard to really get it to fit all in here, but it just looks really nice all together, especially exterior. And like, especially with old playset from the eighties and everything, the outside was mostly like what was always on display. It seems like this seems to be the main feature of this playset, but of course we do have additional stuff inside, but just the exterior looks so nice the way it is here. Oh, and before I move on, there is a little exit over here. Now with the old toy, there was all sorts of like vines and stuff. So it's supposed to be like a hidden exit, but here it just completely opened. So you could go all the way up to the top or you could just go right in the bottom here, which I think is pretty funny, but exterior wise looks really awesome. But as I spun it around, we can now see the interior, which looks pretty nice. Like I said, not as cool because obviously it's gotta be a lot flat for it to fold up, but this is where we get some of our interior like command center or well, what you want to call this stuff, but just the interior playset. So we'll start up top here, of course, where the trap door fell open and He-Man fell down. So he fell down all the way here, all the way down to this monster down below. So we just get this creature. Now in the old playset, there was a like little swamp design down here and like little creatures and stuff He-Man could fall into, but there was also a cage in here that he'd fall into. So there was like a cage hanging up here. He'd fall down into, but if you didn't want the cage there, he could fall all the way down. But it looks pretty nice. We have these tentacles, so they do have some movement stuff, nice molded pieces, feel like a softer rubber. So these big tentacles and mouth and sort of like teeth, it looks like design with what looks like some green at the bottom. So probably some like ooze or something, just some sort of slime for him to fall into. Now on the way down, there are some faces. So like I said, we do get a lot of these faces. So we get three more faces here. There's actually one more up top, looks more like a skeleton, but just again, weird creature faces in there. And actually it looks like there's one more over to the side by this other entrance. So again, this nice entrance, it's just sort of open there. I love how it's got skull designs with the eyes, nose, and of course the big mouth. But yeah, another little face there with even some like these like tentacle like things with purple sort of wrapping around the door there. So just pretty crazy. Not again though, not a whole lot going on on this side. You could maybe take a character like he snuck in and is sort of standing over on this little ledge, but don't know where he would really go from there. But yeah, we just get the drop down from the gate all the way down into the pit, which is pretty nice that we have that. But as I mentioned, this side is pretty boring. So we can go ahead and move to the other side. So on this other side, there is more going on here. So we have the lower part of the lava river. So again, it's sort of see-through so you can see it sort of glowing there. Of course, nothing really going on, just an open area. But at top, we do have this little section. I don't really know what's going on. It's just a control panel. There's all this sort of like technology like stuff going on in the Motu universe. So we do get this little control panel. It looks like some stuff going on. We have a skeleton head. I don't know if that's like just an additional skeletor head you could do some with, but it's sort of there with all this panel going around into it. But again, just throwing in that technology with this. We get Screech here. So a nice little bird pedestal with Screech. So nice that we get Screech, another little character there. I can't really get it off this thing. There it is. So we also get Screech as well. So a nice little bird, of course, that Skeletor has very similar to how the Sorceress turns into a bird. So that's nice. That can just stand on the little pedestal there for it. And just on this top section, we can then go over to the Bone Throne. So nice that we get that. Of course, nice place for Skeletor to sit. Of course, with this dragon on his back, it's going to hard to really get him to sit down at all, but you could put him in that. And then you can also take the Havoc Staff out of his hand and it has a little clasp over here to the side. So it has a little clip there that you can store the Havoc staff in as well. So that's pretty nice just there by the Bone Throne. And then over to the side, we just have the bottom of that wolf's head. Nothing going on. I thought this would be some maybe that spun around or did something, but it's just part of the design there connecting to that wolf head. So unfortunately, nothing really going on with that. So just a small little upper level here. Like I said, not a whole lot going on, but there is some stuff like the throne. But then we have the lower level as well, which again, not a whole lot going on here. We do have a table. Now, unfortunately, this table is stuck in here like, we got kind of pegged it on so it wouldn't get lost or move around with it closed or whatever. But unfortunately now I can't get it out. So it is stuck in there, but it's a nice um, like oblong table sort of shape, almost like a round table. So probably can set it out and have our bad guys sort of standing around meeting, sort of preparing to attack our masters. But it is cool that it's in there and sort of stores back, just kind of open area back in there. 
but beyond that there's not a lot going on it's just this table it looks pretty nice though it has you know like this bone design this little red section in the center and then there are some spikes here on each of the ends but it looks cool but like i said unfortunately it's stuck in here and i can't get it out if i try to get it out it just it just falls apart so i can't really get it in or out but as you see there is a red lever up here though and this is what controls that demon's mouth so if you lift this lever back and forth it will control that mouth but the final thing going on on the inside is that we do have a gel cell here so this is like i said from the original toy this was a whole additional cell that you would take attach onto the other side so when he drops down from the entrance door he could fall into the cell or all the way down into like the pit but we get the gel cell over here so we have the nice like cell door that you can open up and throw your characters inside like he-man so like skeletor imprisons he-man and lock him up in there we do also get another little rock piece with the face it almost looks like jabba the hut with that design but there's our little gel cell now there is a way to escape it from the outside especially we'll flip it back around and show you there is a piece of wall that breaks apart and our characters can escape so if they do get locked up they are able to get out so like i said overall pretty nice for the place like i said unfortunately there's not a whole lot inside that's why it seems like the exterior seems to be what people tend to like show off the most or have it flipped around to show the exterior because then the interior is not that like playful or anything especially if you can compare it to like gray skull where gray skull you know looked like a castle on the outside but there wasn't a whole lot going on everything going on was on the inside but still looks cool for the interior nice like playability you know can set up you know skeletor to stone or put all the characters meeting around the table just some stuff going on like i said not a whole lot but there is some playability on the inside but if we spin it back around to the front here we can go down to that little door like i said so we have this little door hidden down here so it has a little like handle you can grab onto and pull it out but there is also this little switch on the side so you can sort of like flick it and it'll like pop the door open a little or if you need help can pop it open and that leads into that gel cell as you can see there so it can allow our characters to escape if they do get in prison so we have that additional little door hidden in there as well which is pretty nice so that finishes up our snake mountain which is crazy cool like i said a nice big playset. it's really big but looks really awesome here now i do want to fold it up i wish i could have it folded out like this and compare it to gray skull but I just don't have the room for that so we'll, we'll fold it up so i'll have to of course undo the bridge here so we get this all done and out of the way and disconnect it and you can just sort of fold this up or do whatever you want can fold down just get it out of the way is all that you need to do and then we can fold this back up fold it back around but again like i showed before this little piece here this plate that you can use just lift it up get this slid back in and you put this plate back on and it'll help hold it together obviously it's just that small little piece so it's not really going to be held together too well so you will have to probably mess around with some stuff and make sure like if you're moving it to hold it together better because like i said that's all that's holding it together which is not a good thing but there we've got snake mound now back all together there all closed up which of course is probably how we'll have to display it because don't have the room to have it all wide open but now that we have snake mountain over here we can bring in gray skull so here is Castle Grayskull next to Snake Mound, which actually they're not too big. I thought Snake Mound would like completely dwarf Castle Grayskull, but they actually look pretty close. The only thing is, you know, Snake Mound has the big snake up top, so it has a lot more room up there, and so it's much taller. But it seems like space-wise, they're probably pretty comparable. Like size-wise, they're probably about, you know, a foot wide each of them. And of course, if you unfold them, it'd be about 24 inches long, which is what Snake Mound is. But although Castle Grayskull only folds at like a 90 degree, or at least supposed to be at like a 90 degree but there we have our two play sets of course our good castle gray skull and our evil snake mountain so it's very awesome to have both of them together in the mega brand so there's our snake mountain with some characters posed around on it i also forgot to show if they did get a ladder as well so you can set the ladder up to get up to the upper section that had the bone thrown and everything so i've got to show that I, you saw that as i was opening the thing but yeah that ladder is included as well which is kind of classic for the masters of the universe play sets but there we got snake mountain all together now like i said characters sort of around so you could have like a little fight scene going on or whatever you want there but pretty cool play set like I said, especially for the price we got it for made it much more worth it now at that higher price point we would have never gotten it but since it was over 50 percent off that is why we have it and it is really cool they do a really good job getting all the details like i said it's actually more detailed than the old place that is so they do a really good job on this especially the interior i think looks nice the exterior looks really awesome so it makes a nice display they're just way too big to actually put on display for us personally but let me know what you thought of this snake mountain playset down in the comments and if you enjoyed my review let me know with that like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see more but i want to thank you all for watching i hope you all stay awesome out there and and I'll see you in our next review.